Okay, let's TC the card game a little bit. I wanna see. So this one is 8 HP, and now it's reduced by 3. What is determining the attack of these characters? In addition, I see that it applied pyro onto the characters. So it looked like characters attack come with a certain amount of attack as well as element. It's most likely these dot that determine the attack damage. So base you do one damage, with one dot you do two damage, with two dot you do three damage, that's why you do three damage. Your opponent switch character to sing juice fast action. Okay, so it looked like this is a card game with uh spell speed. Spell speed is a mechanics where it determines like what action are taken first. So it looked like Sing Chu is a fast action character, which means he will most likely be able to first take action. It looked like you can only use one character at a turn, and that's gonna be the character that is sticking out. So you can see here the Luke as well as Sing Chu's are sticking out. So these are the characters you can have. You probably only can have three characters at a time on the field, which is probably judged by these. I'm guessing the win condition will be all your characters fallen. Um, because I don't really see a resource bar in this picture. Using basic card game design logic, it is very important for you to be able to visualize your HP the entire time, which allow you to gain like what is your win condition and how close are you to losing and so something on the screen must be the win condition for these characters and logically it just makes sense for it to be the combined hp for all your characters so when all your characters are dead you lose the game um so here yeah so my my assumption is correct so it looked like Sing Chu did two damage because he has one upgrade so you do one base damage and then each upgrade do one additional damage Eight, 8 damage? Is that like a burst or something? So it looked like every character have different skill as well. Because here, Sing Chu used the normal attack, and then here, the Luke used the elemental burst. So there are probably multiple actions between the card. You can probably do normal attack, skill, and burst, which you mean you have free available action. And then the question is, what are these side cards on the field? Uh, they look like field card. There is a hourglass on these cards. So it looked like these are probably either cooldown or um, field time. I'm gonna guess they are cooldown, so that means each player has two skill cards. This one you can use after two turns, this one you can use after three turns, and they probably do a different thing. Um, maybe this one is apply two hydro damage, this one like heal two. Is that all the information we have? Um, his energy free dot were through. Yeah, it might be possible that you can only cast your burst when you have free dot, which lets you um, do energy. And obviously, in here, you can see there's a uh, elemental application. So potentially, you can trigger reaction by attacking with different characters as well. I will be very surprised if they do complicated mechanics in this game. In Magic the Gathering, there is um, land. So in Magic the Gathering, you have to tap your land in order to summon anything. At first, that was what I assumed these cards to be, but that's probably not true because it's too complicated for a casual player. Keep in mind that Genshin Impact is a very casual game, so they probably want the card game to be very casual as well. That was one of the huge reasons why Hearthstone was so successful is because Hearthstone was a very easy game to get into. You really want your game to be simple to get into even if a player has no idea what's happening. That's how you make a successful casual game. And that's one of the huge reasons why Hearthstone blew up uh, to be huge successful. Instead of like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic the Gathering. It's because when it comes to a game like Pokemon as well as Magic the Gathering, you have a very complicated system which is energy as well as uh, land. When it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, there is tributing. You have... <coughs> You have Synchro Summon, Tribute Summon, Pendulum Summon, XYZ Summon, fucking Fusion Summon, fucking Diagonal Summon, Link Summon. Like, who the fuck know what the fuck any of those are? Fuck you, Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyway. When it comes to making a simple card game, the most straightforward thing is to make sure like you can just play your card. In Hearthstone, you don't have to worry about any condition. You have a mana cost and you can just play your card if you have the mana. So it's very straightforward. In this case, it doesn't look like you have to play any card at all. You probably just have available action and choose from, which is like attack. And so that is a lot easier because it's a simplify your thinking process. I'm going to guess this is either decoration because I think the most simple thing they're going to do is you have three characters on view all the time. Your win condition is take down all the characters, which is probably true 100%. In addition, you have two skill cards. I was really hoping the card game would come with a ladder. I would really love to do PvP ranking. I can understand why they don't want to do it because it's like they said it's more PvE focused. But if they're going to let you play against your friend, people are going to make tournament and stuff. And so 
I really hope there's a PvP ladder. It's not too hard to organize a PvP ladder. We can probably make a PvP ladder ourselves in Kachin Main, for example, or in our own Discord, where I will make a matchmaking bot. Chat, it, it is very easy to make a matchmaking bot, and it will calculate your MMR unofficially, and it will match you against other players. It is actually very easy to do. We just have to figure out, like, what is the best MMR system, and I guarantee you there's going to be a ladder that we can make and when we have a ladder like in the Kaching main probably we can pvp so so that's pretty much it we don't really have a lot of information about the card game but i'm definitely very excited because i'm a professional card game player the card game are very strategic and with someone as high iq as me this game should be no problem chat so yeah so uh poggers anyway thanks for watching don't forget to